So Charlie Russell for Concord TV. That was the uh, top of the first. And uh, I guess it was a walk, sacrifice bunt, and two strikeouts. No score. This is Concord. It's uh, May 29th, 2019. Concord is playing uh, the Goffstown team. They're 9-9. Nine and nine. Concord, um, Concord was the fourth place finisher in the uh, standings. Actually, I think tied for third and ended up uh, losing the tiebreaker. So Concord ended up 13 and five, tied with uh, Salem as well as Winnicunnet, and they each got the they each got the uh, tiebreaker over Concord. So Abby Rochette is up here, and we've got a uh, looks like a 2-2 count. She's the leadoff batter for Concord here in the bottom of the first. 2-2 two -two pitch, fouled off. Get our camera straight here. And we'll try that 2 2 pitch again. Fouled off down here to the first base line, uh, third base box. Count goes to three two. Well, Concord to looking to get uh, the lead off batter on here. And so she takes a walk. Works the count. Autumn Nudd stands in. Number three, and she's the uh, shortstop. So, and we'll see if uh, we'll see what happens here. If they're going to play some small ball, they will be swinging away. Outside pitch catches the corner. One strike. So we got about a 60 degree day here, overcast. Saw a few drops of rain earlier in the day, but not very much. It's a fly ball out towards center field. Center field camped under it. Hauls it in, gets it in. So that's one out in the bottom of the first. Stands in. Stands in here, the number three batter for Concord. Pitch on the outside corner, low and outside, but she uh, lets it go by. Not a pitch she'd want to swing at. Rochette still over at first with one out. Well, looks like we're going to have a high strike zone today. As long as they're consistent. I get Rochette's trying to steal. Two to two to six. We got two two strikes, two outs here. Concord looking to move some offense around here. So O'Neill stands, holds that bat firm. Swinging, so Concord, Concord sends three to the plate. We go to the top of the second, no score. Number four, Brannon bats here in the, this is a number uh, five batter.
Pitch up high, ball one. Now well, we got a crowd filling in here. Not not quite as busy a night as uh, parents' night. 4.30 on a, uh, a Wednesday. Pitches up high, ball two. Strike at the knees. Ball goes back to the screen. Looks like that sun's gonna try to break through. See a couple patches of blue here. Not too much wind here today though. A pitch on the outside corner, strike two. So the count goes to two balls, two strikes. And she goes after that high strike, so that's three strikeouts, three strikeouts in a row for uh, Rochette. Number 10 stands in. She goes, she goes digging for a, a pitch and connects with nothing here. Strike one. Strike two. And she gets a little piece of it, fouls it off. Count remains two strikes. There's the 0-2 pitch again. Inside, moves her off the plate a little bit. One ball, two strikes. Count goes to two two. Goes to two two. Must have been must have been a little high. Rochette rocks to the motion. Two two pitch. Nice strikeout. So that's uh, four strikeouts in a row for Rochette. And she goes after that high pitch, looking to drive it. So Concord and Goffstown didn't play during the year. Uh, too many teams for everybody to play each other anymore. Pitch way up high. So Goff Town finished the season nine and nine. And let's see. Must have finished in 11th place. So we got one ball, two strikes here. Well, she follows one back up over the press box. Count remains, one ball, two strikes. One, two pitch, follows another one over there. Rochette with the pitch. And that's the one, two, three, all three on strikes. We go to the bottom of the second, no score. So the catcher, number 20, Abby Corbett stands in. She's the uh, cleanup hitter. Always feared for her power. Junior. Pitch down low. One ball, one strike. Oh. 
Off-speed pitch, catches that high outside corner. One ball, two strikes. Yeah, she waits for that off-speed pitch and just manages to spoil it. Oh. Count remains, one ball, two strikes. Corbett looking to get something started here. Concord without a base runner so far. Bottom of the second. And it's past the left fielder. Corbett will at least get a double out of that. Heads into second. Stand up double. The Concord has its first hit. And we'll have a courtesy runner. Now Vanita De Bono coming up. So Concord with a runner on second uh, with nobody out. Got a pinch runner, a courtesy runner in there for uh, Corbett, who's the catcher. That's done with most catchers and some pitchers in the league. He hits a towering. Fly ball into center, center fielder under it, hauls it in. So that's one down. Number seven batting for Concord. There's an error, and the runner comes from second and goes home. An error on the first baseman. Runner goes home. Pinch runner keeps going. Number 14 stands in there. Conking on the board here in the bottom of the second. Called off over toward the uh, ball field. Way up high. I think it's 3-1. It's like 3-1 is the ump saying here. Well, pitch at the knees, pitch at the knees. Looks like a full count, 3-2 here. One out, runner on first. She's kind of lazy, gonna drop in. Texas Liga, Texas Liga. A little bit of breeze come up, but they uh, left field uh, came in on it, but couldn't get to it. Number five stands in here. First and second, one out. 
Just that fly ball to center field by De Bono. Du De Bono. Well, awful big strike zone, but as long as it's consistent. One ball, two strikes on the batter. Well, that was low. So there is a bottom to the strike zone. 2-2. Two, two. First and second, one out. Off the pitcher. Going to be an error on the pitcher. I load it up. She reached for it, unable to connect with it. So oh, conference at the mound here. Infielders, ump goes out to break it up. The number 13 stands in. Holds that bat high and pretty steady. Line drive to the first baseman, but kind of a dying swan line drive. So two out, Sacks is still loaded. Rochette up for the second time, can help herself out here with a hit through the hole. The wind's coming up a little bit. Pitch outside. That wind's coming in. Let's see where's that flag out there. Feels like the wind's coming from the east. It's in our face here, blowing in from the field toward the camera. Pitch down low. Two balls here. No place to put her. No place to put her. So Rochette looking to uh, get some insurance runs here in a cushion. Oh, two outs. Runners will be off at the crack of the bat if it gets any ball hit. Shortstop makes a tremendous play, a one hopper, laying on the ground, throws it over to force at third. She wouldn't have got the runner at first. So Concord leaves him loaded on a good defensive play, but Concord plates one. We go to the third, one nothing Concord. So we go that. So we got uh, eight, nine, and one up here for the uh, Goffstown Grizzlies. Rochette back out on the mound. Tremendous line, uh, one hop line drive she hit, but the shortstop grabbed it on a hop. Tossed the ball to third for the force. First pitch is low, ball one. Foul back, kind of handcuffs her, gives it a kind of a chop swing, falls it back into the screen. One ball, one strike. Rochette to the motion and the pitch. One ball, two strikes. So Goffstown got a few fans over there. A few fans in the crowd and we got the, got the players are up. Foul back. Count remains, one ball, two strikes. <laughs> Top of the third. Number eight hitter up for the Goffstown team. Oh, needed the step ladder to get them, but we'll take the K. Double zero, number nine batter.
First pitch is a strike. Pitch up high, she doesn't go chasing it. And she goes down swinging. Seven in a row for Rochette strikeouts. We got the top of the order. This batter uh, walked first time around. Strike one. Fouls it back. Two strikes on the batter. Two strike pitch from Rochette. And that ends it. We go to the bottom of the third and that's two, five, eight in a row. Eight strikeouts in a row for Rochette. So Autumn Nudd stands in here, the bottom of the third. She uh, flew out to center field first time around. First pitch is a strike. Two strikes. Ball hits in front of the plate, blocked by the catcher. One ball, two strikes. High and outside, she lays off. One, two pitch. And then Ground ball up to, to, to the center field. So Concord has their leadoff runner on here. Top of the third. Elise O'Neill stands in. Center fielder number six. She went down on strikes first time around. Let's we'll see whether Concord's playing a little small ball. They're going to be swinging away. It wouldn't surprise me if they play a little small ball. Nobody out, runner on first. Comes around, goes all the way to third. Autumn Nudd. Off on the bunt and goes all the way to third. So a sacrifice hit and gets a good gets a good gets a good uh, hand from the crowd. Corbett stands in here. Corbett hit a double out to left field. Oh, we got a runner on third, 60 feet away. Runner on third, 60 feet away with one out. So Concord looking to get another run in here. Already ahead up, one nothing here, bottom of the third. Pitch looks wide. We got two balls, no strikes. So, very heady base running by the Concord, uh, Concord player. Three balls, no strikes. Actually, the uh, third baseman threw the ball over to first, and uh, the first baseman, uh, the ball was in the dirt. First baseman made a good pickup. So we got three. So we got three one here. Carbett looking to drive it.
Strike at the knee, so count goes full, 3-2. Autumn Nutt on third base here. Corbett not letting anything close go by. Fouls it off. Catcher makes, catcher makes a great catch. Foul ball curls back. Looks like it was up over the uh, screen and then comes back. So we got, we got two outs. So DeBono stands up, stands in. She got a uh, fly ball to center. Pitch down low. Autumn Nudd, the uh, shortstop over here at third base, taking a good secondary lead. Ready to pounce if anything gets away at home plate. We got one ball, one strike here. So Concord with a, looking to get this run in. Uh, one ball, two strikes. One two pitch coming in here from the Goffstown pitcher. She holds back, had a notion down low. So two two. Hits it to short, throw across. Now Concord leaves one and we go to the top of the fourth. One nothing Concord. Peterson stands in, number two batter. She had the uh, she had the sacrifice bunt first time around. She's the only one that hasn't struck out in this game. First pitch is a strike. Top of the fourth, can't get up, one nothing. Strike two. This is number two batter in the order. So, strikeout number nine. Rochette has uh, struck out everybody in the order now, nine in a row. A walk, a sacrifice hit, and struck out nine in a row. Number two stands in here. Don't need to check the scorebook. Although she she had some uh, she had some pretty good swings on a foul ball, some foul balls. This is the uh, number three batter for Garfstown. Long foul, way over toward the practice football field behind us. Just a, just another long strike. One one is the count. Falls another one off. This one's up over the uh, up over the bleachers here to our right. Two strikes. Guess I'd say based on what I saw in the first time around, this looks like the best. Pitch up high. Two balls, two strikes. Pitch runs high, so count runs 3-2. Batter steps out, Rochette looks in for the sign. Corbett gives the sign. Well, she goes fishing. She goes fishing, unable to get the low ball. Brings up the uh, cleanup hitter, number nine. We don't have the roster for. Uh, we don't have the roster for. Uh, Goffstown. 
Swinging strike. Now this is the cleanup hitter. This is the power hitter in the lineup. Nobody on, two outs, top of the fourth. Conk it up, one nothing. Pitch runs high. He went swinging that low pitch. Two strikes. Oh, she strikes out the side for the uh, third time. 11 in a row strikeouts. So number seven stands in for Concord here in the bottom of the fourth. Rosenberg. First pitch looks outside, ball one. Rochette. Rochette on a roll here today. Two balls, one strike. Foul back. Count goes to 2-2 two -two for Rosenberg. Pitch is wide, goes full, 3-2 is the count. Concord looking to get their lead runner on here in the uh, bottom of the fourth. Rosenberg is number six batter in the order. Foul back, spoils another. Well, Concord hanging in there. Full count, the umpire tells us. Three balls, two strikes. Down low, so Concord has a Concord has a base runner. <laughs> Torrance stands in there. So Concord's had their leadoff runner on all four innings, only managed to get one of them around. Left a runner at third last inning. Squares away, pulls it back. Two balls, no strikes. Everybody moving on this play. The uh, third baseman coming in, the second baseman uh, going over to cover first. First baseman looking to come in. So, giving her nothing close. Nothing good to look at. Three balls, no strikes. Uh, right down Broadway, automatic strike there. Three balls, one strike. Hits one behind, shortstop calling for it, hauls it in. Number five stands in there. One out, runner on first here, bottom of the fourth. Which is a strike. She reached last time, hit one back to the pitcher, hard, went off the pitcher's glove. Reached first on an error. In the dirt, bounces before home plate. One ball, one strike.
And Conkett does the first to third play again. First to third play again. Ends up number 13. Number nine hitter in the order. So Conkett again has a runner on third, looking to get, looking to push on that second run. Up, oh, right back to the pitcher. So, Concord leaves a runner at third for the second inning, and we go to the top of the fifth, one nothing Concord. So, Goffstown brings their hitter up for the uh, top of the fifth. She's the uh, number five hitter in the lineup. Pitch down low, ball one. <laughs> Swinging strike. One ball, one strike. Strike at the knees. One ball, two strikes. Fouled off. Over here, off the fence, third baseman retrieves it. Count remains, one ball, two strikes. Rochette looks in, gets her grip on the ball, waiting for the batter to get back in the box. One, two pitch. Pitch up high, off of the glove. Two balls, two strikes. Looked like it was inside at the knees. Count goes to 3-2. Rochette looks in, gets the sign from uh, Corbett. In the dirt. So there's the first base runner since the first inning. She walked. Number 10 stands in, runner on first. Concord's third baseman cheating in, looking for the, uh, looking for the bunt. Pitch is a strike. So a one nothing game. Goss down, not getting a lot of wood on the ball or even hitting the ball and uh, looking to squeeze a run around. Foul ball, two strikes on the batter. Top of the fifth, nobody out. Rochette looks in for the sign, in the motion. Falls it off. She's out, that's a strikeout. Foul bunt on the second, stri third strike is an out. Registers another strikeout. I think it went off of the, uh, I don't know if it went off the catcher's mask or the umpire's mask, but must have went off somebody. They're out cleaning off the plate. So this is the number seven batter in the order. So Rochette looks in. Number 14 here. Swinging strike. Rochette looks in for the sign. Rocks to the motion. 
The fly ball. No, going to drop in. There's the first hit. Now, so Goff Sound in the uh, top of the fifth finally gets a, a hit. So we got the number eight batter here. I'm gonna put a, uh, I don't know if they're gonna put a courtesy runner in or what, but. We got, maybe we got a, I'm gonna say I'm gonna put a courtesy runner in here. Foul ball, strike one. So they're looking with one out. They're looking to, uh, with one out, they're looking to uh, try to move the runners around. They're not having, uh, other than that, prior batter's hit. No. So she sacrifices them over with two outs. One to three. So number nine, number nine batter in the order here, double zero, introduced as Robert Parrish, same number as Robert Parrish. So. So number nine hitter stands in here, swinging strike. Swinging strike two, so she's being overpowered here. She was, uh, like most of them, was a strikeout victim uh, earlier. Pitch is high, can't get it a chase. One ball, two strikes. <laughs> Strikeout number 12. So they get one hit, no runs, one hit, left two on, and we go to the bottom of the fifth, still one nothing, conquered. First pitch is a strike here. Bottom of the fifth, Rochette leads off. And it's through the legs of the center fielder. And Rochette's going to touch them all. Going to touch them all. And there it is. So Conkett gets that insurance run. It was a hard line drive. And it skipped through the wickets of that center fielder. And she chased it down. And by the time she picked the ball up and started it in. So Conkett gets their second run. Fall back. And there's another hit. Out toward left, left fielder picks it up, throws it into second. So Concord with their first two uh, batters reaching, one of them coming around to score here in the uh, Elise O'Neill. 
So Autumn Nunn, Nudd uh, is uh, two for three. O'Neill is uh, had a sacrifice. Swinging strike. She went. She went fishing and chase, chasing on that one. She ducks under, up high. One ball, one strike. Off speed, bends her back, but it's a strike. One ball, two strikes on O'Neill. That's gonna be Foul ball, just past the third baseman. So Concord uh, hitting this pitcher this inning. Nud over there at first with uh, nobody out. One two pitch coming in, in the dirt. Two two is the count, and the cleanup hitter Corbett on deck, swinging the bats over there, limbering up. So Goff's down pitcher, way up high. Count goes to three two. So it stayed uh, cloudy. The winds kind of died down here. We see a few, few patches of blue, but it's going to be a mostly cloudy day here. Oh. Shortstop digs another one, a uh, rocket, one hop. Runs over and tags second, throws to first, throw to first is late. So that's a fielder's, fielder's choice, ground six. So now we have O'Neill at first. Corbett has uh, doubled and popped out to the catcher. So Concord hitting the ball hard this inning here. They're getting to this pitcher. Pitch up high. O'Neill over there at first. Off the glove of the third base person. She reached for it, but it was past her. Just ticked her glove. So Concord with uh, first and first and second. You guys that kick this thing here, it rocks my camera. I know you, you all got lots of energy, so can you stop stop the waving around particularly? Okay, thanks. Otherwise, we'll look like we have an earthquake with the camera, okay? It's such a great game, you want to save it. Thanks a lot. Elizabeth Blend stands in. Pinch hitter. I guess she's a, I think I was told she's a freshman. Good athlete, plays on the basketball team. So first and second with one out. Bottom of the fifth. Concord looking to, uh, already got one run in, looking to get some more in here. Pitch inside, catches that corner. One strike. Pitch outside, one ball, one strike. Yeah. Line drive to center. In the center home. No throw home. Conker gets their third run in. Yeah. The Bono stands in. Number seven. So Conquered with uh, two in here. Fair ball. Pass that first baseman. Want to send her in? 
Runner going to second. So that first baseman was playing no more than a step off the line, but it was hit so hard, so it's a double. Get another RBI in. So conk it up, 4 nothing here. So well, they're out there. One's taking a break here and getting a little thing. So Concord explodes here with uh, Rochette leading off with a home run. Line drive to center goes past the center fielder, whether it went through the legs or just past her. It was close to her, but she was unable to contain it. It was hit so hard. Then Nutt gets a single. She's uh, forced out at second by O'Neill. Corbett gets a single. Um, and now we've got Number 14, Torrance, standing in there. One out, huh? So Concord sending its sixth. 14 standing in there, Torrance. Concord sending its sixth, seventh batter to the plate this inning. Only one out. Third baseman looks looks toward home, but throws to first. So five to three gets an RBI. Brock stands in here. She's uh, reached on an error, and Oconkin plates its fifth run here in the fifth inning. Four in this inning. Pitch up high. Foul back. One ball, one strike. A runner on third with two outs. But Conkett hitting the ball hard off this pitch of this inning. So Concord almost bat around, sent eight to the plate, left one on, scored four. Five nothing, we go to the sixth. So number 12 stands in. She's the uh, she's the top of the order. Tries to beat one out. One to three. Button for a base hit. Brings up the number two hitter in the order. Peterson stands in. She uh, sacrificed in the first inning and foul ball. Sacrificed in the first inning and struck out in the, must have been the fourth. Struck out in the fourth. So Rochette with a pretty big cushion gave herself that second run herself. Pitch is high. Gave her, sec gave her the uh, second run on a Home run, and then Concord plated three more in the bottom of the fifth. Strikeout number 14, if you've been counting. Well, Rochette is on here today. Got a one. 
One hit, one hit shutout, I believe. We know it's a shutout. He's walked two and given up one hit. So three base runners. Sky high pop up. Off the short stops. Yeah, all right. Oh, Texas League of the drops in. Runner ends up in second. So we got two out, runner on second. Swinging strike. This is number nine and uh, number nine at the plate. She's the uh, cleanup hitter. Two strikes on her. And that, folks, is strikeout number 15. Go to the bottom of the sixth. Five nothing conquered. So Sydney Plant stands in. Number nine in the order. Fall back. She has uh, lined out the first and was thrown out pitcher to first in two plate appearances. Looking to set the table here. Conk has been pretty good getting their lead runner on in every inning. One strike. She beats it out. She's quick down that line. Conk showing some good speed here. Well, Rochette stands in. She's uh, one for two with a home run. We're here in the uh, top of the sixth. So the, uh, won't speak too soon, the rain is held off pretty well here. Safe at first, a medium, medium speed grounder to uh, shortstop, throws it over, but Rochette's quick down that line, probably the fastest on the team. Autumn Nudd stands in, she's uh, two for three and flew out to center. <coughs> So Concord with two on here in the top, uh, bottom of the sixth. Looking to play, looking to put some more runs on. So the third baseman wisely lets the ball roll to the kicks foul. A one ball, one strike on the batter. Pitch up high. Center field arranges over and hauls that in over toward right center. So one out. Lisa O'Neill. O'Neill has uh, had a sacrifice, struck out and uh, grounded out. She leans back but doesn't get it. One, one, one strike, one out here in the bottom of the six. Number six stands in. Looking to get that sixth run across the plate. We'll see if six is the lucky number here. 
in the dirt. One ball, one strike. And that is well over the head of the, uh, the runs are coming around, two in. She's coming to third, stay three. So number six, plates number six and number seven here, a triple. The two runs gets two runs in. And now Corbett stands in here. So we got a lucky seven here. Lucky seven, seven runs in here in the sixth inning. Six proves to be a lucky number for O'Neill. Well, Corbett, the catcher. Swinging strike, looks like she got fooled on that one. So she's got a double and a, uh, a single. Popped out to the catcher in her other appearance. One strike. So she lays down a bunt, doesn't go too far from home plate, catcher picks it up. Uh, Field is choice. Anita DeBono stands in. We got two outs, pitch up high. Two outs, runner on first. Conk it up, seven nothing. Pitch out, pitch outside. So we can see the the evening softball players are waiting, are waiting this game to end. Had a notion, holds back, two balls, one strike. <laughs> Throw down to first, runner is back. 3-1 is the count here, so gotta come in with the pitch. And that's, uh, that's off to the races. Hit it a long way, but it kind of died out there. It looked a little wet out in that area. Conkett plates its uh, eighth run. Rosenberg back up. Back re-entering. I think she had a... Uh, and we're going to put a pinch runner out there. Gets a good hand from the crowd. Here we go, seven. So the winner of this game will play on Saturday. I'm not sure what time the game is scheduled for four. Four o'clock for the softball. Baseball at two, okay. So the boys' baseball is at two, I'm told by uh, the athletic director. The girls will be playing at four. So four o'clock and they will be playing. I'll let you know in a second here between innings. I'll pull out my papers and let you know who they're playing here. So we got two outs, eight nothing, bottom of the sixth. So we'll have double barrel action here on Saturday, June 1st. Followed away, we'll have the girls playing softball at four. The boys baseball is two. Boys tend to run a little later. 
2-1 two. Two is the count with two out here. Concord will be playing the winner of the uh, Londonderry Merrimack game, which is an 8-9. Eight, eight, no, no, they won't be playing. They'll be playing. And there's another one out there. And so she's off to the races. She's going to come for three. Go, go. No, all right. Throw gets loose on the cutoff, so Concord is just pounding away. Rubber number nine comes in, another triple. So Concord, uh, Torrance comes in. So no, uh, apparently no relief pitcher going to come in here for uh, pitching the dirt. So the player tries to come in on a, uh, it wasn't a foul ball. Two to one, and they get the final out, and we'll stay here, and I'll tell you what the uh, rundown is. So uh, Concord will play the winner of the Pinkerton Portsmouth game. Pinkerton is the number five team. Pinkerton is uh, 12 and six, and they're playing Portsmouth right now, or today, and Portsmouth is 10 and nine. I think Concord beat uh, Pinkerton along the way. So, and that'll be four o'clock, and then on, that'll be four o'clock on June 1st, right here at Memorial Field. Then action shifts up to, uh, uh, up to uh, Plymouth State, uh, the Tuesday, Tuesday, June 4th, 7 p.m., if Concord makes it through the Saturday's game. They would play the winner of the Exeter Merrimack Londonderry, which would probably be Exeter who only lost once and be a major upset if they lost to either a Merrimack or Londonderry. And that'll be probably the 7 p.m. game. We're going to hope to go up there and uh, and then the finals, if Concord makes it that far, will be 2 p.m. on Saturday the 8th. So that's the schedule if you can follow along and we'll stay with the Concord team as long as they're able. So. And it looks like we're here for the, looks like Concord may have a, uh, Concord's got a, a new pitcher in there. So Concord. I guess Con Concord must have got seven in that inning, I don't know. Goes to nine. And who we got here? Looks like, is that Rosenberg we got out there pitching? I'll catch your number here, I think it is. Yeah, Rosenberg comes in, she's the closer. And she's no uh, slouch herself. Uh, obviously a tough act to follow that, uh, that Rochette struck out 15 of the 18 batters she faced today, including at some five, seven, eight, nine, including 11 in a row from this first through the uh, to the fourth inning. So a stellar performance. Number four stands in. Not unsurprisingly, she was a victim of the strikeout, and I think she got a walk, led off with a walk in the fifth inning. In the dirt, one ball, one strike. In the dirt, two balls, one strike here. So Concord uh, three outs away from going to the uh, quarterfinal round, the playoffs. 
And that's a high, high, high pop up here. Falls between the two fielders. Pretty tough, uh, pretty tough sky here. Just another strike. So two, two on the batter, two strikes. Oh, Gosstown making some noise, looking to break the shutout, try to get a little bit going here. And you know, tough. And there's another foul ball. That's over behind us onto the uh, softball, uh, football practice field behind us. So two balls, two strikes on the leadoff batter here in the uh, top of the seventh, number four. Kind of slipped out, kind of rolled on in. Well, that brings us to a 3-2 uh, full count here. Rosenberg looks in for the sign, batter gets ready. Toes the rubber into the motion. And here's the pitch, foul ball. Well, we got a little battle going on here. So probably, I think we're working on probably six o'clock here, 4.30 start in this game. 6.03 on May 29th, 2019. Rosenberg comes in to uh, close this out. And we got a battle going, another long foul ball. Way over to the, uh, toward the Little League field and the practice field. Oh. Long fly ball over the left fielder's head. Left fielder's chasing it down. Went under the fence. Under the fence. Went under the fence. So we had a battle there, and uh, she was, uh, she finally got one fair. Got a hold of it. So we've got number 10 stands in here. Uh, <coughs> like many other Goffstown players, she went down twice in strikes in this game to uh, Rochette. The pop up. Pitcher. Pitcher calls for it. Nobody gives her any hassle on that one. So we got one out. Brianna Page is uh, has one of the few hits we've seen today. She singled in the fifth inning, strike out in the uh, struck out in the second. Well, one strike on the batter. Fouls another one back. Two strikes. Foul ball. So we see Abby Rochette chasing that foul ball back out behind the bench. She's out of the game and done everything today, but struck out. But done everything today, but take it, take tickets for admission. So two outs, top of the seventh, and brings up, brings up the number nine, number eight batter. 
Number three. Laconca looking to preserve the shutout here. Swinging strike. Fly ball to center. Over the center fielder's head. So they'll play the run on that. She's tracking it down. This runner is uh, going to stop at second. So double. So it goes to seven to one. We get a pinch runner for her, courtesy runner, and the number nine hitter. Double zero stands in. So two outs, top of the seventh. Conk it up, seven to one. So Rosenberg comes in in the seventh. Got. Two down and a run comes in. One strike. Fall back. So golf sound down to their last strike here. Ro Rosenberg looking to uh, get this out, and Concord will go to the quarterfinals. Playing the winner of the Pinkett in Portsmouth game, Sadie, right here. And that's it. Well, Concord wins, and uh, Goffstown, Rochette has 15 strikeouts. Rosenberg has two. So Goffstown, 17 of the 21 outs was a, uh, were swinging strikes. And there's the... Uh, there's the good sportsmanship handshake, folks. And a lot of these players, I'm sure, have seen each other before in other competitions. Not unexpectedly conquered one. It was a close game, one nothing. One nothing until uh, Rochette's home run in the uh, top of the, uh, the bottom of the fifth. So Charlie Russell for Concord TV, thanks for watching. And we'll stay with this team, the uh, defending champions and the Semifinals and finals will be in.